Hello everyone, Nadim here with PC Solutions Net. So uh, a while back I made a video around how to sync your signatures across devices and, and the way to do that was to basically create a signature in OneDrive and then since OneDrive is replicated across multiple devices your signature basically follows you. So if you edit the signature in one place it, it updates it on all the devices that you use. So the question along with that came about that hey what's the best way of syncing additional folders or places with OneDrive. So let's say you have OneDrive already synced up and you want to add a specific folder outside of that OneDrive folder to sync as well. What's the best way to do that? So of course, you can go into the OneDrive client and you can add an additional uh, location to sync and, and go that way. It can end up giving you errors. There's only so many you can add that way and it's just, it's just a messed up way to do it. The best way to do sync files is to create a symbolic link, which is the same thing that we use when we were working with the signatures in Outlook. So this is just, that's why it's an extension of that. So I'm gonna, let me just uh, switch my screen over here. So this is my uh, OneDrive folder. And so in here you will see a bunch of things, but you don't see a folder called testing. And we're going to create a folder called testing. Now, the way I'm going to do that is, let me switch over to my command prompt here. So uh, let's say you're sitting in the C drive. So first you have to start command line in an elevated prompt. If you don't know how to do that, look at one of my other videos. Uh, so over here, we already have a folder called test one. If I go into test one, I see one file and they're called testing.txt. Now I want to go into my, uh, my user profile and I want to go into my OneDrive location. So in this case, it is one, I have two. So the personal is called just OneDrive. Uh, the business one is called OneDrive PC solutions that so we'll create in here so in here we're going to create a symbolic link and we're going to point it to that test one folder so really what we want to do is we want to sync that test one folder which sits in the root of the C drive with OneDrive so what we're going to do is we're going to create a symbolic link let me just clear the screen so make a link if I can type slash D uh, D means it's a directory not a file and we're going to call it, uh, let's call it testing. So in the OneDrive, which I showed you earlier, my, my OneDrive folder, there is no folder here called testing, as you can see on, under TE, it's just temp and templates, that, that's all it is. So we're going to create a folder called testing and it's going to point to T colon backslash test one, right? So anything that's in test one will get synced in a folder called testing in OneDrive. So see what we did? We could have called it test one as well to keep the folder name same, but we can change the name. And that's what I wanna show you is we can change the name if we want to. So let's do this. And now if I do a DIR, it shows me that the test is a sim. So testing is a sim link. So here, testing is a sim link and the folder is called testing, which is this part right here. And then this part right here, it's pointing to C colon backslash test. Now, if I go into the folder called testing, I see that one file testing.txt, which is the same if I go into the root of C drive and go into test one, I see the same file testing.txt. So all we've done is just created a link to that existing folder. Now, here's the test. Does that sync with OneDrive as well? So let's go over and I'm gonna switch my screen here. So let's go over to our OneDrive and looky there under between templates or after templates, there's a new folder called testing. I know it's a new folder because it's got this little blue icon next to it. And if I go into that folder, I will see the file testing.txt. I didn't have to do anything. All I did was create a sim link, a symbolic link, and it replicated that because the OneDrive folder itself is already being replicated. Anything I put in there, it gets replicated. This is a, a good way to sync files because if you create individual syncs in OneDrive, you, you run into a, a resource contention issue and you'll just start getting errors and it will just blow up and or it'll work for a little bit and then it'll stop. So this is a good, nice, neat, clean way of doing it. So 
Simlinks are your friend. Uh, and, you know, in this case, we used uh, the mklink command, make link, short for make link. And we used the switch slash d, d for directory, because we were syncing a directory. We could have pointed it to a file as well if we wanted to sync just one file. But usually when people want to sync something, they want to sync directories. Everybody have a great day and uh, be safe out there.